But you're looking right now at a campaign tool being used to help plot the growth of Nashville. But this was not prepared by city employees. As it turns out, Nashville is paying local PR firm McNeely, Piggott and Fox more than $260,000 to make those pamphlets and to do outreach in the city. Now, that work is actually part of a program to help Nashville shape what the city will look like over the next 25 years. And we wondered, well, why can't city employees do that work? Fox 17 Sky Arnold spent the day looking into that. He's live downtown. Sky, what did you learn? Well, Scott, Stacy, the flyers we just showed you right here, they actually include a little survey inside residents can take on how they want to see Nashville grow in the future. Now, it's one very small part of something known as Nashville Next. It's an undertaking. Folks here at the planning department say it's simply much more than they're able to undertake on their own. Downtown would probably grow to the north and southeast. You're watching a video that lays out one way to handle Nashville's future growth. Again, we're expecting close to 200,000 new residents by 2040. Nashville Next has produced a bunch of these, many with the help of PR firm McNeely, Piggott and Fox. Three ways we might grow and move forward. The videos are part of a nearly three-year outreach program that's trying to get opinions from every sector of Nashville, even those who don't speak English. To parts of the community that um, frankly said to us, hey, we're, we're surprised you came to us and talked to us. Metro Planning spokesperson Craig Owensby says that work will help ensure more voices are considered as Nashville plots its future. But we wondered why the city needed to spend 266000 on an outside company to do it. Government typically spends other people's money very poorly. Justin Owens' government watchdog group, the Beacon Center, hasn't specifically analyzed Nashville Next but he has found plenty to be suspicious about for other Nashville programs that used outside PR firms. Or does government need to hire this PR firm to advance its message when it could simply do it by having town halls with voters or something like that? Um, they usually spend a lot more when they hire the PR firm. Owensby says that's the wrong way to look at this. It would be irresponsible to assume that contracted services by definition are wasteful. Budget cuts have reduced Metro Planning staff in recent years. And Owensby says those that remain couldn't do this outreach work without a cost. A project of the size and scope of Nashville Next literally wouldn't get done without laying aside the regular function of the planning department and putting everybody on that. Now, the planning department says another effect of trying to do this campaign internally, it wouldn't be done as well. We're going to ask them what a PR team can do that the city employees can't. Coming up tonight on Fox 17 News at 10. For now, Sky Arnold, live downtown, Fox 17 News.